There's a difference in the weight or pressure of this atmosphere so that the weight of the air on my nose is actually less than the weight on my feet. Well, hi. Did you know that we live in an ocean of air? In fact, we live at the bottom of the ocean of air. There's an atmosphere all around the globe, and it extends from the surface of the Earth all the way out to the edge of space. Well, that air has weight, and since we live at the bottom of the ocean of air, we experience the greatest weight of the atmosphere right here at sea level at the Maryland Science Center. It also happens that because we have some height there's a difference in the weight or pressure of this atmosphere so that the weight of the air on my nose is actually less than the weight on my feet because I'm deeper, my feet are deeper in the ocean of air. Well, if it's hard to think about air having weight, I have a demonstration here that would reveal that and it works like this. This is a yardstick. The fact that it's a yardstick doesn't really matter. It could be a meter stick, it could be any kind of stick. What's important though is that it's made of wood and I intend to use this to demonstrate the weight of air with newspaper. Now newspapers are getting harder and harder for people to experience. Everything seems to be going out online. But because it, it's made out of paper, the paper itself doesn't weigh a lot. And in fact, if I place it over top of this yardstick and squeeze the air out from under it, the weight of the paper is not very much. And if I push down on the stick, you can see it moves the paper easily. But if I spread the paper over this yardstick and then think about all the air that's sitting on top of this paper, well, it happens that the air weighs 14.7 pounds for every square inch on this newspaper. And here's a square inch. So think about being in the ocean of air. There's a column of air that goes up from this square inch of paper all the way up to the edge of the atmosphere. And the total weight of all that air on top of this paper is 14.7 pounds. Well, how many square inches are there on this newspaper? It turns out it's 550 square inches. So work that math, and that means that over the whole surface of this newspaper, there's over 8,000 pounds of air squeezing down from the top of space all the way down here, sitting on top of this newspaper. And if that's the case, the weight of that air is gonna help me demonstrate what happens to this stick, because I'm about to take my best karate chop at this stick, and let's see what happens. Ready? Maybe not what you were expecting. Remember, if there's 8,000 pounds sitting on here, that paper isn't gonna just fly up. It's stuck down by 8,000 pounds of air. Enough weight to break the stick. Now a Jeep Wagoneer weighs 4,000 pounds. And if you park a Jeep Wagoneer on top of this stick, it's not gonna go anywhere either. It'd be very easy to break. I mean, the table wouldn't hold it, but we have more than that. It's like putting two Jeep Wagoneers on top of the stick. And that's all from the weight of the air. Remarkable.